Welcome to your Zoom web portal. In this video, we'll take a tour around to demonstrate what you can do here. Go to zoom.us and after signing in with your email and password, you'll see a primary navigation menu on the left. You might see all the tabs shown here in your account or just some of them. This menu varies depending on your account type. Let's start with the profile tab. Here you can update your picture on time zone, find your personal meeting ID or the unique number to your personal meeting room, view your account type, and change your password, among other things. Heading back over to the left side navigation menu, the next tab you'll see is Meetings, where you can view upcoming and previous meetings or schedule a meeting, view details on start meetings from your personal meeting room, or even set up meeting templates so you don't need to recreate all the special touches you add to your meetings. The next tab on our list is Webinars. Zoom webinars allow you to easily conduct large online events with video, audio, and screen sharing with thousands of attendees. If you already have a webinars license, you'll see several additional options here. Learn all about webinars in the Zoom Learning Center. After webinars, you'll see the Personal Audio Conference tab. This allows paid subscribers to host meetings through phone dial-in only. In the Personal Contacts tab, you can store personal contacts including names, email addresses, phone numbers, and more in Zoom by uploading a CSV file. In the Whiteboards tab, you can create a new whiteboard, use templates, and view whiteboards shared with you. Use whiteboards to enhance collaboration with your team, friends, or even teach with whiteboard. After whiteboards, you'll see the Recordings tab. Do you have a colleague who might miss that important team meeting? Want to capture the memories of your Nana's 92nd birthday? All users can record meetings and access them locally on their computer's hard drive. Some account types can also record them to the cloud. No, not that kind of cloud. Cloud recordings can be viewed right here in the web portal rather than in a folder on your machine. We've arrived at the ever popular settings tab. Along the top, you'll see that you can choose specific setting options for your meetings, recording, audio conferencing, your collaboration devices, you know, all those cool hardware gadgets you can integrate like Amazon Echo Show 10 or Google Nest Hub, for example. Zoom app integrations make meetings more engaging, productive, and fun, like Hive, Kahoot, and so many more. Finally, manage whiteboard settings in the Whiteboard tab. Within the Meeting Settings, along the left side, you'll see a secondary menu. This menu lets you pick settings for things like meeting security, in or during meeting options and features, notifications, and more. The Reports tab provides usage reports and user activity reports for your account. Access data such as who is attending your Zoom meetings with a full list of participants, and even get meeting reports including polling results, webinar registration, and more. Lastly, in the Account Profile tab, you can see your basic account information such as your account type, name, role, and account number. Some Zoom users will also interact with the Admin menu. An admin is typically a person responsible for managing a shared account or a group of Zoom users. You can find courses made just for Zoom Admin in the Learning Center. This concludes our tour of the web portal. Again, welcome to Zoom! We hope the platform delivers you happiness.